Now, Access Tech Live headlines. So you think sign language is universal? Think again. Researchers at Cambridge University are leading an initiative that challenges the widespread misconception of a universal sign language, highlighting the rich variety that exists even within individual regions. They're applying machine learning to analyze the movements in signing hands, and their team hopes to enhance the understanding of accessibility and accessibility of sign languages, fostering better communication within the deaf community and broadening academic resources. This AI-driven approach could significantly change how we interact and learn about sign language, which is pretty cool. Amazon is pulling the plug on its Just Walk Out self-checkout technology in its U.S. fresh grocery stores. Despite the high-tech appearance, real people in India were actually needed to monitor the checkout process, proving that the system was a little bit less automated than they actually touted. It's costly, requires extensive equipment, and has faced privacy concerns and even operational glitches. Now, Amazon plans to focus on deploying what they call Dash Smart Carts, which have onboard computers to help track purchases, hoping to streamline the shopping experience without the same privacy and complexity issues. April is Parkinson's Awareness Month, and researchers at the University of Cambridge have developed an AI-driven method that identifies new Parkinson's disease treatments much faster than traditional methods. They're using machine learning to screen millions of compounds. They found five promising candidates by targeting the protein alpha-synuclein, which forms harmful clumps in the brains of Parkinson's patients. This method not only speeds up the screening process by 10 times, but also reduces the cost significantly, which could lead to quicker development of new treatments for the condition. Meta's in the news this week with a couple stories, starting with the announcement of its open mixed reality ecosystem, which is what powers their Quest headset, it's that operating system, making it available to other hardware manufacturers. This is an interesting move, and the design is to foster a diverse range of mixed reality devices and apps, kind of broadening the ecosystem and providing more consumer choice. The new ecosystem will be powered by Meta Horizons OS operating system, a mixed reality OS developed from extensive investments in technologies like high resolution pass through and spatial anchors, they're calling it. This expansion will allow developers a greater reach and facilitate the integration of social features across virtual spaces, potentially reshaping how consumers and even businesses interact with mixed reality technologies. Meta is also in the news because the company has released Meta AI with Vision on their Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses in Canada. The feature, which is available in beta right now, allows you to ask questions about anything you might be looking at, and Meta AI will use the context and things around you to hopefully provide an answer that's actually right. We're going to demo that a little bit later on, and we'll get to the bottom of it. Plus, the beta also features the ability to share your view on a video call with WhatsApp and Messenger right from the glasses itself. Finally, the company has announced new styles for the smart glasses, including a cat eye style and low bridge option. Exciting stuff, Stephen. I know that you're a big fan of your Wayfarer, you know, kind of point of view or the perspective of those glasses, but uh, lots of people want different styles and they want to take advantage of that meta AI. So that is now coming to people across the globe. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. And uh, the, the AI features only in the US and Canada so far, hoping that that will stretch out across to the rest of the world soon. Uh, but as you say, the designs, they are coming out to uh, Australia, to the UK, across Europe, which is absolutely fantastic. My wife tells me, by the way, they come in a beautiful pink colour. She was pointedly telling me that the other day. I, I think mm. she might be hinting that she might want some of these. Uh, but you know what? I think the design element here is what wins this out. Of course, the smart tech for us geeks is amazing, but the fact is they're stylish as well, and they're really well built. So this is a really, really cool development. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to try these AI features. And of course, you're not wearing yours today. I thought you'd be wearing them in you know, preparation for the show, but no, you chose not today, other no. models. Oh, come on. Do you know why? Can I tell uh, you why? why? Because they're charging in their case. That is why. <laughs> that is the, that's the only thing with these. You've got to charge them up. Uh, I've been wearing well, them the all day. So, you, so it's to, all good. I know, exactly. Well, you know, you've got to put them in a nice case. It's a beautiful... I, I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere. I didn't touch this desk. Or I got mine. fall off it. You got yours? I'll do my okay. beautiful, nice uh, brown Ray-Ban case that's charging mine as well. That's we'll get to that later. Beautiful. <laughs> hmm. uh, Stephen, question of the week. If you could replace one everyday uh, object with a futuristic high-tech version, what would it be and what features would it have? Lots of really cool Ooh. feedback on this one. So if you can replace one everyday object with a futuristic high-tech version, what would it be and what features would it have? 
if you've got an answer, let us know. All our social media platforms are at Access Tech Live. You can email us if you want to feedback at Access Tech Live as well and get involved. We're going to come up with your answers to the question a bit later on. Steve, I'm going to pose that question to you as well. But coming up, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into some of the stories making the headlines this week. Plus, what is sustainability in tech? Well, we'll dive deeper into that as well after a quick break here on Access Tech Live. There's more Access Tech Live to come. Get involved and have your say at Access Tech Live on social media. We'll be right back.